There is a hidden cause to back pain. And to truly get the most benefit out of therapy, you need to be aware of the hidden cause. Neural drive, the way the nerves communicate with the muscles is the hidden cause. There are very specific things happen that happen that will cause your back pain to get worse because of neural drive. When you have back pain, the nerves slowly turn off. It's called reciprocal inhibition. Now we've talked about, that there's four different reasons you can have decreased nerve communication, decrease in the nerves telling the muscles what to do, associated with the back pain. I mean, there are other reasons that are more say, traumatic, like sever your spinal cord, things like that, but that's not about this. This is about the four causes that once the back pain starts, perpetuate the decrease in the nervous system function, which is what we call reciprocal inhibition. What is reciprocal inhibition? So as I lift up my arm, my bicep contracts. As the bicep contracts, the tricep relaxes. There's a communication pattern through the nervous system. One muscle gets tight, the muscle that does the opposite activity gets loose. It's called reciprocal inhibition. Now, what can happen is if the muscle's tight for too long, the nervous system starts to slowly shut the muscle off, the other muscle. The light slowly starts to dim. Decrease in the nerve drive, neural drive, is like turning your light switch slowly down. If you have a rheostat in your dining room or where you can slowly turn the lights down as the light starts to dim, that's a decrease in the nerve communicating with the muscle. Same thing, you're getting less information through the nerve. That's a decreased neural drive. Now we talked about how old injuries can cause that the glute amnesia, and the, the most common reason, and this is the reason everybody has, is the sitting in a chair. When you sit too long in a chair, the muscles in the hip flexors get tight, okay? We live in a very sedentary culture. We sit too much. We sit in the morning when we're eating breakfast, we sit in the car or the bus or the train going to work, and then we sit when we get to work, and then we sit on the way home, and guess what, when we get home, we sit on the couch because we're trying to relax by watching TV or surfing the internet or watching YouTube videos. Boom, right there. Or Facebook for that matter. But it's the seated position causes the hip flexor to get tight. Okay, the hip muscles of the hip flexor is the one on the front. When the hip flexor gets tight, what does it do? It causes the glutes to slowly turn off. You get inhibition. You get weak, inhibited, inhibited. <laughs> Inhibition of the glute, glute max, glute medius, glute minimus, all the glute muscles. You get the amnesia, okay? Slowly the muscles falling to sleep, okay? Why is that happening? Because you're getting the decreased neural drive. So glute max, glute medius, all goes out of balance. When the glute muscles get weak, the hamstrings start to do the work and they get very tight. Somebody's gotta do the work of the glutes and it turns out it's the hamstring and the erectors, which are the small muscles in the low back. Okay, and that's when things really go out of balance. But combination of these two leads to spine benders. And we know that when you bend back and forth, back and forth over the disc, the disc starts to break down. It's not designed to do that. Okay, it can't bend, but it's really not supposed to be the primary bender. And when that happens, the tissue starts to break down. And when those tissues start to break down, the annulus starts to separate. As the annulus starts to separate, the nucleus will start to push out between the fibers. That's what leads to the herniated disc, the bulging disc, and the degenerated disc. All these things that you have, all those different words that we have used are really the result of 
spine bending, but also having the weak glutes. The muscles go out of balance. And the muscles out of balance perpetuate this problem. And then you aggravate it, and then the condition becomes chronic, where it doesn't seem to want to go away. Or you go get therapies that don't fix the problem. They're not fixing the cause. They may be addressing the symptoms, but they're not addressing the cause. What is the cause? It's when everything starts to go out of balance. You get a micro trauma, which might be from the spine bending, which leads to a little bit of pain. And then you get some tight muscles and then you get the tight muscles in the hip and then you're sitting too long and you get some adaptation. You get the reciprocal inhibition and then the, the cartilage and the tendons around the joints. Some get loose, some get tighter. And as that happens, it increases the pressure on the disc and the disc starts to break down. But once this process starts, every time you're a spine bender or you're sitting for too long and you get the reciprocal inhibition, the whole process continues to go. This is chronic inflammation. I have something in my eye. I'm okay. But it's this chronic aggravation, decrease in the neural drive, and the discs break down and you get that tear of the annulus, which is why you have the back pain. And then the disc starts to degenerate, and that's another cause of decreased neural drive. You can see that once this process starts, they all feed together. It all perpetuates. The longer this goes on, the more of this you're having. The less neural drive you have, the longer you have the back pain. And it perpetuates to the point where the disc degenerates pretty severely. The key is you got to avoid the spine bending, but you have to reactivate the muscles. But this is why we have the tips. The tips are all about how to prevent the spine bending because that's the micro trauma that aggravates it, that perpetuates it. We have to get the healing of the disc. But we also talked about the glute medius, one side going out of balance because of an injury to an ankle or a knee. Old injuries cause the muscles to go out of balance. And then you get you get to be a spine bender, and then you have one muscle that's tight, one muscle's loose, and it perpetuates the whole problem. Well, how do we fix it? Have to reactivate the glutes. Part of it is doing the exercises, and the reason that the exercise works so well is because it solves the problem with the nervous system. You reactivate the muscles. The problem is the longer you've had this, the less neural drive you have. So even when you think you're using the muscles, you're not. But this is why the exercises work so well because we're not treating the herniated disc or the bulging disc, we're treating the cause. And the hidden cause is the neural drive. So what do you need? Healthy movements. You need stability in the spine. You need the endurance. You need to restore the motion. And then you need to restore the functional strength. But then you need to continue that. Because the longer you've had back pain, the, the, the worse all these are because of the neural drive. You can fix the neural drive. You can fix it by activating more from up here, which is what your game face is. Got my game face on. Got my game face on. Game face is neural drive. This short circuit's neural drive. Smile. Okay? But you can smile, but don't smile when you're doing exercises because it tends to throw off the nervous system. Neural drive can be activated. We can activate it. We can increase it. Our thoughts can increase neural drive. It takes some work. It doesn't mean it's easy. So pain relief is weakness leaving the body. This is why this system works so well. We've identified the pathway out. There's two pathways, flexion, extension, restore function, restore strength, neural drive. Pain goes away. It takes effort, but the pain goes away. We have a process called 10X that walks you step by step through this process. This will help you get your life back, increase neural drive, reactivate the muscles, get the motion patterns better. If you haven't, take a look at it. 10X, totalbackpainrelief.com slash 10X order. That'll get you there. I'll put some links above and below. Neural drive is the hidden cause of your back pain. Fix the neural drive. About that. I've been allowed. All right, that's it. I'm out. 10x.